What's up, y'all? My name is Gloria. I am the founder of Lavender Moon Spaces. We convert vans and buses into off-grid and luxurious living spaces. We are based in San Marcos, California, which is just outside of San Diego in the North County. And our goal this year is to help 20 people become nomads. And on this process, I'm gonna be sharing my nomad journey. And I'm really excited to help support others in this process. And I think the most exciting thing to me about all of this is being able to have not only my own space, but also something that I can invest in and own, as well as an opportunity to explore, have more variety in my life and connect with the people that I love more than I ever have before because I'm not tied down to a place, which for some reason has always made me feel stuck or kind of like a hermit. So this is really exciting. I now I have my my shell on wheels, as I like to call it. And yeah, it's a bit about us and about me. And this is Coral scratching herself. And today is my first day living what I would consider full time, if we want to use that term, in my bus. Right now, I am in a baseball field that I discovered by my warehouse and Coral made some new friends. <laughs> And uh, I found a place for her to run around because she's been itching to do it all day. And I'm um, making a burrito tonight, hanging out with my friends later, and get back to work on my bus project <laughs> in the morning. I've been slowly weaning myself off of the normal life, which I needed that. And I think that you should not pressure yourself into anything faster than what's your pace. And so that was my pace. I wanted to feel connected. I wanted to feel the opportunity to be in community and, you know, just kind of settle into this and take my time. So the first month I was at my parents. This last month I've been uh, staying at my friend's driveway and I feel ready. I feel a little scared, but I feel ready. So tonight is my first night in my bus without any other strings attached and I think that I thought it was gonna be scary being on my own or being alone or whatever but those are just thoughts and now that I'm here I have a completely different experience <laughs> I'm exploring new areas I found a baseball field for coral to run around in that's mostly gated off um, a few openings she's definitely stuck to her reputation of being a bit of a runner but she really just does that because she wants my attention so yeah I feel like you know there's there's a many ways that you can think about things um, you can live in the future and create this idea of what things are gonna be like and then fulfill them or uh, you know self fulfill them or you can just say you know what I don't know what it's gonna be like but for some reason this feels right and I'm gonna try it and just be open. And I feel excited to be exploring new places, have the opportunity to have variety. Variety is really important, growth is important. If you're not growing, you're dying. Look, it's a very logical thing, you know, look at plants, look at, yeah, that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> um, I think that growth is important and I think that for me, variety inspires that and she inspires me to go out and experience new things and having the bus is just more um it gives me more capability to do that and the biggest thing that i feel like i've been learning in this process is to stay connected to community and to stay connected to the people who make you feel inspired and alive. And if you don't feel like you have those people around you, then find new places to meet people and use your nomadic vehicle or whatever it is that you're using to live in to be a vessel for more space for connection. And that's what this is for me, is more opportunity for connection with myself and with others and new varietous, var <laughs> I'm just gonna make up new words here in new varietous ways and I'm gonna make a burrito tonight I'm really excited if you know me um, if you don't know me you'll find this out about me I love burritos I have a burrito blanket I'm really excited to go back to the bus now make a burrito 
I have my warehouse right down on the road and uh, it's really epic and amazing and I'm excited to have my bus to support me to have that certainty it really last night it really settled in with me that like this is my space I'm not paying for rent anymore I'm not living in a house I don't have roommates I don't have those responsibilities of um, keeping energetic connections clean and holding upholding responsibilities to keep other people happy and making compromises in order to make a household work and that feels really good because I can be around the people that I love pop in and pop out and not have any other expectations and so I feel like a bit of a free bird right now and um, it feels good I've always enjoyed doing things by myself and I always love being with people and so I get to create the world that I want to live in right now and uh, right now that's finding a baseball field and throwing a ball that I found around with coral so I wanted to share a bit more about my journey and I wanted to celebrate today because it's my first official day and again you know whatever your process is for being more nomadic and living in a vehicle I completely support like trust your pace and stay in alignment with the pace that feels right with you and don't let anyone else tell you that you're fake you're fraud for not living in your van full time do what makes you feel best and as you gain more gain more confidence you'll be able to grow and expand more so those are my two cents for the day lots of love and peace and variety's things in your life What do you think about it, Coral? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> so in the course of our time together, our time, I mean Coral, I've discovered that she's a lot more active than what I can keep up with. So I started taking her out on bike rides and finally found a way to keep up with her. And now she's freaking really good at riding the bike with me. And she just walked through a giant puddle. Okay. Coral, say hi to all your fans. So Coral is a three-year-old Shiba Inu shepherd mix. How do I know that? I don't. I just think that, so I say that. I rescued her and her brother looked like a different kind of Shiba Inu, so that's a backstory. She's also kind of acts like a cat sometimes and is really independent which is a very Shiba thing to do. Um, she's three years old. This way. And I can give her commands like that. She's three years old. Um, had her since she was three months. And she initially wasn't too excited about this bus life. She actually, for the first month, like almost resisted every time that I wanted her to go in there and would like pull away from me. And she would like shake really hard and like literally sit on my lap when I was driving. Like, she's a 50 pound dog when she's eating well. She's got an eating problem. And she would literally just sit all the way on my lap because she was so scared. A lot of stuff's, you know, knocking around, making a lot of noise. She was always used to being in a more confined space in my car. But I can tell you now, she's loving it because this is her favorite thing. She has a new registry of smells she gets to put in her arsenal. And that's what makes her come alive. So, it's a coral story. And this is the bus after hours. All the things you don't see on TV. Just came back from, oh gosh, come on coral. It's right a gathering. So I got my easy up in here. These little puzzle tiles. Everything's all over. This is where I put all my stuff when I'm driving so that it doesn't fall. Sometimes it sits there, sometimes I sleep with it. You never know what could happen. This is all my cacao drink stuff. I was transporting some materials in here this morning, so I use my foam mats as the little way to do that. And here's my setup. I'm gonna be making some burritos tonight, so burritos. One for me, one for her. Just kidding, you don't get any. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be cleaning up and making burritos, so I'll show you a little bit about how I do my magical alchemical burrito process.
ladies for watching my burrito making video. I uh, didn't quite nail the roll on this one, but we got some goodies in there. If you're paying attention, you would have seen sweet potatoes, broccoli, uh, black beans, onion. I used this um, coconut oil stuff. It doesn't have any dairy in it, but it's got like this dairy butter flavor thingy, garlic. Uh, got some tofu, eggs, mushroom, I don't know if I said that already, um, some hummus, mayonnaise, people might think I'm weird, but I like it, okay, some spinach, and broccoli cauliflower, tomato, avocado, got this habanero hot sauce, all the good stuff, yeah, now I'm about to enjoy me this burrito.